Hello and welcome to our new video on RTK signaling pathway. Receptor tyrosine kinases or RTKs are a type of cell surface receptors that can respond to different extracellular signals such as growth factor, hormones or cytokines. RTKs play important roles in many cellular processes such as proliferation, differentiation, survival and migration. But how do RTKs transmit signals from the outside of the cell to the inside? RTKs have three main parts, an extracellular domain that binds to the ligand, a single transmembrane helix that anchors the receptor to the plasma membrane and an intracellular domain that has kinase activity. In the absence of ligand, most RTKs exist as monomers, meaning single units, and their kinase domains are inactive. However, when a ligand binds to the extracellular domain of a RTK, it causes the receptor to dimerize, meaning to form a pair with another RTK. This brings the two kinase domains close to each other and they start to phosphorylate each other on specific tyrosine residue. This phosphorylation has two effects. First, it fully activates the kinase domains so that they can phosphorylate other proteins. Second, it increases docking sites for intracellular signaling proteins which can bind to the phosphorylated tyrosines and form large signaling complexes. These complexes can then activate multiple signaling pathways inside the cell leading to different cellular responses. The mechanism of dimerization varies among different RTKs. Some ligands are dimers themselves, meaning they have two identical parts and they can bind to two articles at the same time. Other ligands are monomers, meaning single units, but they can still bring two articles together by binding to both of them. Some articles are always dimers, even without ligand, but they need ligand binding to change their shape and activate their kinase domains. One example of an RTK that is always a dimer is the insulin receptor, which responds to the hormone insulin. When insulin binds to the extracellular domain of the insulin receptor, it causes a conformational change that brings the two kinase domains closer together and they phosphorylate each other. This activates the insulin signaling pathway which stimulates the transport of glucose into the cells. Mutation or overexpression of some RTKs can cause them to be constantly active even without ligand and these can lead to uncontrolled cell growth and division.